Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back Kurt Hullabaugh to the show. He has a big fight coming up here, July 14th, Fight Night 133 against Honey Barcellus. What's going on, man? Uh, not too much, you know, just uh, training, staying busy. We got about 16 days and uh, just trying to stay healthy. Not that you're counting or anything, right? Not counting. <laughs> How's camp been, man? Uh, you know, it's been really good. Um, I've had a lot of time just to sit back and work on, uh, you know, some holes in my game and really improve some areas that I felt I need improving in. And, uh, you know, me and my team, day in and day out, we're just constantly in the gym getting better. Without giving away your game plan, um, where did you feel that you, you had holes in your game? I believe you're very well-rounded. Yeah, I'm pretty well-rounded, but... Uh, you know, my four losses kind of speak for themselves when you go back and look at the, some of the guys I lost to, which were some really good wrestlers. And uh, so, you know, I always try to improve my wrestling game a little bit and, uh, you know, work on some takedowns, work on my takedown defense. And honestly, I think that was really the only areas that, that may be holes in my game. Um, so, you know, I work, you know, day in and day out with, uh, you know, some high-level guys on – fixing some of those mistakes and some of the mistakes I've made in the past. And uh, I think I'm a seriously improved fighter, even from the last fight. Are you still at uh, Gracie Baja or in Louisiana? Who are some of the guys that you uh, that you have been getting a chance to roll with? Um, yeah, we call it um, Gracie United Team Junkow South of uh, basically Louisiana. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've got some uh, really high-level guys up here. Not a lot of guys that are out in the big leagues and, you know, out on – television and nationally and on the regional circuit but you know i got my black belt that's basically the founder of uh gracie united at team junkow south Raphael l wanger he's world champion black belt 260 pounds so you know rolling with that gorilla every day you know really prepares me for anybody's strength that i'm gonna come across in my weight division um i got my stand-up coach uh coaches jimmy mills and uh, Randy James, you know, I work with those guys a lot in my striking and then, you know, some other teammates um, all throughout our whole team and Grace United team, Duke House South. So, man, you're only 31 years old and, and you're you got a you're riding a three fight win streak. You're, you're 17 and four. You're really putting yourself in a position, man, to man, you could take featherweight by storm the, these next 12 months. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, everybody can say I'm on a three fight win streak. But honestly, if you go back and look, it might have been turned to a no contest. But that's a fight that I dominated in the last fight of the Contender Series. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you count that fight, take the no contest out. That was a dominating fight. I'm on a four-fight win streak. And uh, I'm definitely going to keep that going. You know, I'm, I'm carrying everything over into this fight, just like I did the last four. And I really feel uh, I can get this division to run. Are, are you a guy that likes to watch a lot of, uh, like, tape on your opponent? Or do you let your uh, your coaches and stuff handle that? Not really. Most of it, I just, most time I just give them, you know, my coaches and I let them go over. They come up with the game plans. I do watch some of them. Just, I like to kind of get the feeling. I like to put myself in that fight as, you know, the start of the fight when they come out, to touch gloves, whatever. I kind of like to put myself right there in that feeling and see how am I feeling? What do I think? What am I seeing? So uh, I mainly leave it to them, but I'll watch a little myself. You're such an easy going. You're such a cool guy, man. Have you ever really just dislike someone that you that you had a fight? Not really. I had really, man. I've had thirty fights so far in my you know mixed martial arts career, and I've never really came across a guy that I just absolutely did not like. Um, you know, they they had a few here and there that you know I never really talked to after the fight. You know, we might have showed up, went face to face in the way in. And I may have never kept up with or, um, you know, talked to again. But for the majority of them, I, you know, I still talk to most of these guys. If I see them around, talk to them, hang out, whatever. 
Awesome. And then uh, assuming uh, no serious injuries or anything like that coming up here from the fight, uh, how many more fights would you like to get in at the end of the year? Would you like to try to get another one in? Yeah, definitely at least one more. Um, I think I could do one more, and I would actually like to do it pretty quick. I think I'm always my best whenever I come right back off of a, a fight, you know, and being out for the last year, it's going to be a right out of year since I fought, which I don't think I'm going to have any ring rust or anything like that. It's not the first time that I've taken time off and came back and fought. But uh, my last fight that I had, I basically took um, a month after I fought Jay-Z Cavacanti. So I was already in shape and ready. So And I knew how I felt going into that fight. I made the weight easy and, uh, you know, I had a dominant performance. So I would definitely like to take a fight pretty quick. I'll say two or three weeks, a month after this fight, I would like to get a quick call. Very cool. Well, I always like to give you guys a, a few moments here at the end of, uh, if you like to shot your sponsors, teammates, anything you'd like, man. Yeah, for sure. You know, my whole team at Gracie 19, Junkow South, um, my management, Sucker Punch Entertainment, you know, my sponsors, K-Ray Construction, Cree Ultimate, and Monster Inc. You know, those guys are some local sponsors that uh, have been backing me for a long time. And I uh, really appreciate them having them and having the support. And, uh, you know, come July 14th, man. It's going to be fireworks. Me and uh, Barcellus is going to steal the show, and uh, we're going to put on a fight. Well, I appreciate your time, Kurt. I can't wait, man. Fight night 133, July 14th. I know that you always bring it, so it's going to be a great night, man. I appreciate you having me on the show. Anytime, brother. Take care. <laughs>